morning, everyone. Just giving a second to make sure our video is started. Hi, my name is Leah Klein, Health and Homeless Coach, and I have a question for you today, and that is power your walls. Uh, our verse is Proverbs 25, 28. A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Are you like a city broken into and left without walls? I know I can be that way at times. I think we all can. We lots of times don't tend to think of self-control as a positive thing. We usually think of it as something we are lacking. And, and lots of times, you know, we have some negative connotations to it, partially because you know, we feel like we don't have any. Uh, but self-control is actually for our protection. Without it, we are defenseless. And you know, like a city that needs its walls for protection, especially back in the time, you know, that this was written, uh, walls were key. Walls were huge for your protection. If you didn't have walls, you know, it was a very big deal. Um, just been reading Nehemiah and uh, talking about rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. And we have walls we need to create in other areas of life that may not be you know, a literal wall, but it's a picture of what it's like for us. What we need is to create some barriers, to create some rules, some non-negotiables. We don't like those, but they are necessary. They are boundaries. So an example, obvious in our, you know, health world, uh, would be food. Uh, if you know that a food is really bad for you, you don't feel very good after you eat it, uh, whether it's a food allergy or because it's sugar, or dairy and you know you just deep sick your immune system uh, which is what it is for me <laughs> uh, you have to have some boundaries around these things if you eat those things all the time you will blow up like a balloon uh, and get sick all the time too uh, it used to be that I got multiple colds through the winter and I don't usually do that. I, I kind of have an idea of what what not to eat and what supplements to take to kind of keep me from, you know, going down that path. And we have to create some rules around that for our own self-protection. Uh, another area that, you know, we can need to exercise self-control is actions and what we do. Um, I was just recording an interview for the Face of Change, Yes, Face of Change Masterclass Free Speaker Series is coming up starting November 1st. And I will let you know sooner the time how you can opt in for that. Uh, I'm not quite ready for that yet. But I just did an interview with a gal who was talking about doing a social media fast. Now, admittedly, basically I'm on here for you know, work you know, purposes. I don't just uh, go on Facebook to kill time uh, myself. So, but I'm I'm going. Well, I'm not that. You know, I'm my first thought. You know, when I think of that is that. Well, I don't really need that. But then it's like, how much time do I spend on my iPad playing games or doing things that mm, I don't necessarily need to be doing? Uh, how much time do I spend watching the TV? Uh, whether that's Roku, whether that's 
uh, regular TV or, you know, even DVDs or, you know, things like that. How much time am I spending on that? Am I spending time on that that I need to be spending on something else? Like maybe working on my speaker series and getting some more speakers. Um, I know you have examples of that in your own life that things that you know you could be doing but you're spending a lot of your time on other things. It's not about not having the time. It's called priorities and what we're spending all of our time on. That is where our time goes. And lots of times we do have time to get things done if we just make it the number one priority. And it's not that we never rest, it's not that we never take time off, but we get the work done first because if you start with the play time, lots of times you never get to the work time. Or you're up late working on the work time and there went your sleep. <laughs> you didn't get to bed on time. Now, another aspect of self-control is it's a fruit of the spirit. Now, what does that mean? It means it comes out in us, it manifests itself in us through God's spirit in us, which means it's not natural. We do not by nature tend to be very self-controlled. Now, admittedly, some of us are stronger in some areas than others, <laughs> but, but it is not our nature to be, you know, completely in control of our lives. It's not something that we're going to do naturally on our own. We need God's help and God's strength to sustain us, strengthen us, so that we can do what we need to do. Because a lot of this is about focusing on why. Why are you doing it? What is the goal that you're going to have? What are you going to accomplish by exercising some control, some self-control now, and having delayed gratification? I know that is a curse word in our society but what do we need to not do now so that we can better enjoy it later and that is what I want to encourage you today is to take some time pray ask God for his help you know go down on bended knee if you need to and say hey I can't do this I keep trying and it's not working help. <laughs> I need help. I cannot do this on my own. God, give me the strength and show me the why. Help me to see why this is so important. Why I really need to be doing this right now. And to wrap up our time today, I'm going to go back to a favorite that we did before that's actually based on Isaiah 40 um, and that is everlasting God so sing along or just listen your choice strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord we will wait upon the Lord we will wait upon the Lord Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Our God, you reign forever. Our hope, our strong deliverer. You are the everlasting God. The everlasting God. You do not faint, you won't. Grow weary, you're the defender of the weak. You comfort those in need. You lift us up on wings like eagles. 
Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord today. And I will see you next week with a, another verse. Feel free to share any insights you have in the comments. I love to hear from you. See you later.